I want to talk about a topic that uh, slightly annoys me, also opens and raises further questions, and sometimes just makes me go, I don't think you're fully committed. Now, what am I talking about? Well, you you should know by the title because you're already here. When you have designers or clients that want a website and they want to use Elementor, they do want to use Elementor, but they don't want to use Elementor Pro. They want to just use Elementor Free. And they're happy to use lots of Elementor add-ons or other solutions to kind of get the same thing they could have got with Elementor Pro. Let me explain why to you why that annoys me. Number one, Elementor Pro is only $49. Okay, a year. And I have spoken to many people that go, that's a lot of money. I get it. $49 is not cheap. It's not expensive either. And depending on your geographical location in the world, I get it. You might have to save up or not. However, if you are not willing to invest $49 into your website and you're happy to run the risk of adding on lots of elemental add ons, most people that have an Elemental Free will have three to five Elemental add-ons, quite usually, okay? I know what I'm talking about here. A lot of them will tend to have three to five different Elemental add-ons. You run the risk of incompatibility, conflict, things not working, updates here and there and all over the place, and your website goes down. Now, if it's your website, fine, you'll deal with it. A client's website, well, hold up a second. This is where the red flash, warning, bell, siren goes off in my head. I will not work with any client that is not willing to pay for Elemental Pro. And here's why. If you're just going to use Elemental Free and you're not willing to invest, keyword here, invest in your business for Elemental Pro, $49, okay? That says something to me about you as a business. Because if you're not going to invest, in $49, you're not going to invest in SEO. You're not going to invest in looking at your keywords. You're not going to invest in social media and marketing and content writing and stuff like that. You're not going to invest the time. The I don't just mean money. I'm talking about the time and effort to get things right for your website, to stand out against the competition. Clients and people who I've spoken to who refuse to get Elemental Pro and they just want to use Elementor, right, free, and loads of add-ons, nine times out of ten, they're going to be the same people who the minute that website is released, go, why am I not on page one on Google? We just released the website. I should be on page one. No, Google does not rank based on the order it was released, unless you use a filter. That's a different matter, but even then, you still have to be in the ranking tree. That's not how it works. you got to earn it. You want to do an advert or a sponsored campaign, yeah, you could get onto page one, but only because you went and put $100 in or whatever to do an advert. That's up to you. But you're not going to, if you don't invest in the Elemental Pro license, you're probably not going to invest the time to try and help your website, social media posting, stuff like that. Also, you're going to be going for every free solution you can to achieve a name, and you are going to create a bloated back end website. You're probably not even going to care very much about your optimization, your responsiveness. You're now just trying to get a website out there as quick as possible for the lowest price possible. That is not how it works, okay? If it was easy to do and you were going to achieve high, amazing results by doing it as cheap as possible, do you not think that every other big company out there would be following that same model? And the reality is they don't. So I'm not telling you to spend $10,000 on a website. No, you could easily get a website built for $1,500, whatever. Okay, you could easily do that. All I'm saying is don't go in thinking that you can just do it with Elemental Free and loads of add-ons. If you want to use an add-on like you really, really, really want to on top of Elemental Pro, I get it. I get it. But if you are only going to stick to Elemental and you're going to have add-ons, don't whinge, don't complain, don't throw, you know, your food in the air and then wonder why it's hit you back on the side of your face because you went and added in loads of add-ons. You know, if you want to use like some themes 
as well that are loaded with bits and pieces and then you add an add-on, then WooCommerce and then here and there and it kind of goes ka ka plonk well, That will happen and I hate to say it, but you should have gone with Elementor Pro. And I'm going to end this bit by saying if your client is adamant, I don't want Elementor Pro, I can't afford it. That is, should be your warning that this is someone who is not going to invest in SEO and they'll blame you. Why is my website not doing well? It'll be your fault. They'll blame you because they're always going to want to look to blame someone. And then you're going to feel the pressure to sort that out and do some magic for them. Why is my website not hitting the high optimization performance score? It'll be on your head to sort it out. And you're going to feel the pressure to do it. You're going to be panicking. And if they're not willing to get Elementor Pro, I can tell you now, you can forget the any opportunity of a maintenance care plan, right? Let me tell you now, if they're not willing to pay $49 one-off cost a year, I keep saying it because I really want to get it across there, one-off annual cost, which means once per year, why would they pay you $20, $30, $40, $50 a month for maintenance? And you know what will happen? Every time there's a plug-in incompatibility or conflict, every time the website goes down, every time there's an issue or slowness or some problem, they're going to come back to you. And you will probably fix it for them because you're going to feel obligated to fix it for them because you built the website, right? You went and picked the plugins. Did they tell you what plugins to use? No, you went and picked it for them because you wanted to achieve a spec or a brief that you could have done with Elemental Pro. But no, instead you went and got three or four extra plugins. And because you said yes to doing that, you're going to feel the pressure to help work it out for them because you always want a great review. You always want word of mouth referrals. You always hope they're going to come back to you for something else and they will come back to you, but you're probably not going to get paid anything for it. So you got clients out there that go, hey, we want Elemental free and we're not going to invest in pro. Fine, do it. But don't come knocking on my door when your website goes down because I told you from the start, get Elemental Pro. I hope you haven't fallen off your chair or you're not getting angry at me right now, but that's just the way I roll. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bat.